I'm Master Cicero Mirella Amato, and this is the final video that I'll be releasing this year. I hope you've enjoyed the videos so far. And this is the second beer cocktail recipe that I'm sharing. This one is brand new, however, and it's called Headstrong. It's built around this right here, the Capo Capo. And Capo Capo is an aperitivo rosso. It's from the same family as the Campari, which you may be more familiar with. And I read an article just over a year ago saying that there was a Canadian company collaborating with an Italian company to bring us a new Aperitivo Rosso. I was very much looking forward to it. And it came out earlier this year. I picked up a bottle and I found that on its own, it's just a little too sweet for me. So I thought, hmm, why not build a beer cocktail around it? The first step for me was to pick the right beer style. And uh, I ended up going with a double IPA. And I went with the double IPA for two reasons. First of all, what's missing for me in the Capo Capo is bitterness. So I wanted a beer with a bold bitterness. And because this is a winter cocktail, I like a higher alcohol content, a bit of a warming quality. So I chose a beer that has a higher alcohol content and a bold bitterness, hence a double IPA. But let's start with the Capo Capo. We're going to go ahead and use one ounce. And I mentioned in the last video that I've been studying mixology a little bit. I'm not an expert yet. Um, but cocktails often feature a citrus element and a sweet element. In this case, the citrus element is a ruby red grapefruit juice. I'm adding a half ounce. And the sweet element is agave syrup. This is a quarter ounce. I'm also going to throw in just a dash of Angostura bitters. The cocktail is fine without the bitters, but the bitters really take it to the next level. There we go, we're going to give it a little shake. Here we go, I'll we'll pour it into the glass. And we'll go ahead and top it up with three ounces of the double IPA. That's two ounces. The beer I'm using today is the Black Oak 10 Bitter Years. I have tried this cocktail with a range of double IPAs and it's actually quite forgiving. It's just important to note that the malt to bitterness balance will definitely affect the flavor of the final cocktail, but like I said, it's quite forgiving. Give it a quick stir to integrate all the ingredients. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Garnish, just a little bit of orange peel. And there you go, that's the Headstrong. Now it's my understanding that Capo Capo is not widely available. So I have created an alternate version that uses the Campari and that cocktail switches up the double IPA for a triple. So I'll make sure to include it in the description below. Whichever one it is you choose to make, I hope you enjoy it, and happy holidays. Oh, that's tasty.